Hello everyone and welcome back. My husband had requested I do a look for him using one of the palettes he gave me. He got me this from the Dollar Tree, the Wet n Wild Fergie palettes. So he wanted me to do a look. Well, actually a few looks, but I told him I'll get to them. Just all at once. But yeah, this is this palette. And the name of this one is Milano Collections, yes. So, let's get started with this. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are all great. Hope you're having a nice weekend. I'm going to use my Ruby Kisses 24 Hour Magic Magic Primer. So I can't make this a one brand look. Because I don't have everything. And I don't want everything. I really don't. Because I may do what I have. And I'm grateful for what I do have. I'm always grateful. Okay. So I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brow pencil. It's a brow pencil and eyeliner. And it's a token. And I'm going to do my um, brows. This Wet n Wild pencil. So, yeah. You guys enjoying this weather with your families? I hope so. I already wanted to stay up stay a few days or more, but I had an appointment, so I couldn't. I love being with the kids and grands, I really do. It's funny, I live in the same state, but hours away. Seems like a different world. Because they live up in the country and I'm here in the city. It's like night and day, big difference there. But I'm grateful to God for any time I get to spend with my family. You guys know I'm very busy and my phone rings and there's a crisis, someone's in crisis or something. I, yeah, I'm out. So I don't get too many days to myself, too much time, rather. But that's okay. Because eventually I do. God is good all the time. I'm gonna brush this out and set it, but um, for now, check out this palette. It comes with a really nice blended brush, a blending crease brush, and flat brush. In the middle says wet and wild. This is so cool, but I'm not gonna more than likely use that brush. Well, let's see. Let's see. I have my little brush rolls. I usually use. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what's shadow. This that appears to be a matte. Okay. So I'm gonna. Take that eyeshadow right there, the end on my fingers. Apply that on my brow bones. Oh, it's really highly pigmented, huh? Very nice. So yeah, on my brow bones. I 
Let Me Wild is a very nice cosmetics brand. Like my favorite cosmetics brand from a beauty supply store it happens to be Prestige. Prestige Cosmetics. They're amazing. I wish their prices were like Let Me Wild though. Yeah. Prestige is a little steep for drugstore. Quality is there. I love Prestige Cosmetics. I own quite a bit of it in the line, but someday I'll pull everything out. So now that we have that, and that one's. Yeah, you're going to hear music and cars and stuff because I have the window open. It's really humid. Hope you guys don't mind. You guys know I'm not a professional makeup artist, and this is not a studio. I'm at home. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm a real person. Just like when you look at my videos, you see Rose J. That's actually my name. That's my true name. The J is the initial for my middle name. Okay, let's see. What should we do here? I'm gonna put that color right there. Golden tan. I think I'll go for it. Yeah. It's lovely. Place that on the lids. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. This color is gorgeous. Oh, wow. I think I made a very nice choice. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's finish the eyes. Before we jump somewhere else at the crease. This is like a golden tan. I'm loving it. I love natural tones. Mm. I picked the right one, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm not always all serious and stuff. Mm. Very nice. Okay. Let me get that brush roll back. Two brushes from here. This one and this one. For now. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'll grab that eyeshadow right next to the one I just used and that's like a matte taupe. Let's see what it do. I'm gonna place that in my crease. Now you're probably thinking, where's the next blush and taupe? Giving it a break. I'm giving it a break, yeah. <laughs> when I catch myself using the same products, I, yeah. I'll correct myself. You know, not so much correct, but you know. Because I have way too much makeup to be using the same thing over and over and over. Like, really? I'm going to blend that out this other. I wish it's larger.
this palette is very nice. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. Like you guys know that um, I prefer beauty supplies to makeup, but I do like drugstore makeup as well. I like makeup in general, but it's very really nice. Here with that other pencil brush because I used. I know they look the same. It's a pencil brush, it's a blending brush. I'm gonna take the pencil brush again. And I'm gonna be hmm, beside black, that deep dark brown. Pick that up. Apply that in the crease. The outer part of the crease. I think I blend it into the outer V. Mm -hmm. Place it right in there. Blend it. Yeah, like I said, I'm not a professional makeup artist, nor do I want to be one. Just enjoy applying makeup. I like it. I like it very much. I don't wear makeup every day, but it's because I'm comfortable in my own skin. I love letting my face breathe. You know. That's why I'll go for weeks without applying any makeup. It's the only face I have. <laughs> you know, I don't get a backup or anything like that, so I have to take care of this. One. I'm gonna go back. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go back to the. I shadow right there the first one because I've been doing quite a bit of blending and I feel like I've lost some of the brown one color I placed. Just a little bit like that, like that, like that, there you go. And I haven't turned the dark brown on the right. Yeah, I do enjoy makeup. It's fun. It's a lot of fun to experiment. Yeah, because you make a mistake, you get a makeup remover wipe or soap and water, whatever you have, and maybe you wipe whatever, and yeah, it comes right off. Most of it. <laughs> Most of it got work from stuff. But yeah, you know, for the better part. If you're not a makeup artist, I always encourage to experiment and play around and see what feels right to you and what looks good to you. And I don't believe in makeup rules. I don't have to abide by makeup rules because I'm not a makeup artist. So. The less stuff, none of that applies to me. Mm -mm. I know sometimes I hold, I'm really sorry. I correct it when I catch myself. Okay, now I'm gonna apply that. Oh, it's my bad. Okay, the mascara I have is on um, LA Colors Dramatic Volume Mascara, and this is in. 
extreme black. I'm using this. The elf one that I was using is done. So until I finish off these mascaras, I will not be purchasing my own hair mascara, which is by Nick K. This is what that looks like. This is a really big tube. I'm not gonna curl my lashes today. do my upper lashes. Just want to do this because my husband he never asked me for a request. It's the first time so and I am gonna do um looks with the other palettes and as I go along time. You see I can't commit to yeah I'm gonna use this tomorrow this because you guys already know my phone is off the hook and when someone's in crisis I'm out the door so yeah I can't I'm a very busy woman I am Okay, that's good right there. Okay, I think I'm gonna take from the palette um, that second eyeshadow right there, the second one. A small detail brush. Uh, apply that to my tear ducts. Oh, it's pretty. Like a light champagne. That's very cool. I think I'll apply a little of that. Right here to the center, just a little bit. Actually, uh, there you go. Ooh, I like it. Like the first look was good for night, and this was a little. I added some light to it. They're both good daytime or nighttime looks. Like I said, just find your niche, and find what works for you, and go for it. That's how I do it. I like it. I, I really like this palette. But this is again on um, Milano Collections A226. Very nice. Okay, now I'm going to pick up this blush. And this is in Mellow Wine. Yeah, I thought I was going to use one in the one. That's what Mellow Wine looks like. brush roll where I keep my face brushes. The black and gray one, it's eye brushes. This one, it's eye brushes. Mm. This is a prestige blush brush. That will work. Gotta be like really <laughs> careful with these wall blushes. Yeah, like I said, I was not gonna do a full face tutorial because it's just much too humid. I actually rather like when my skin shows. I do. 
may not be perfect to anyone, but I like it. Yes, I know I have imperfections, but that's what makes me me. And that's what makes me beautiful. I really don't have the... I don't know. Like the urge to um, cover up my entire face. Unless I'm going out at night. Yeah, these blushes are... Really pigmented. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay. Now, what to do for lip color? This is my favorite lip liner by Wet n Wild, and it's a number six six six. Um, but the name of it is Brandy Wine. That's the number six six six. And that is brandy wine and it's gorgeous. It's my favorite lip liner by Wet n Wild. Tell me brand lip gloss is like, no, okay. No. Here it goes. them in. I'm going to take a lipstick by Wet n Wild and this is Bebop Love if I'm not mistaken. Bebop Love. Place it over the lip liner. Jordana's Squeeze and Shine. Very cute. Just a little bit shine. I like it as is though. I'm just going to little shine. Just a little. That's it. Look, after I finish here, I'll go in the room, show my husband how it turned out. My husband does not have a YouTube channel, but he does watch my videos. So let me bring the camera in a little closer so I can show you guys how it turned out. And again, this is the Fergie Wet n Wild palette in Milano Collections. Beautiful, beautiful palette. This is really, really beautiful. So many looks I created with this. But I have a few palettes, so I, I would like to try them all. So this is look number one with this one for now at least. So yeah, that's how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all so very much for watching. May God continue to bless you and your families always. Until the next time. May you all stay blessed, beautiful, and child.